Hey there, this is Unmesh and today we're going to be talking to you about the library module in Lightroom. Don't ignore it. This will make your life so much more easier and workflow faster than ever. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The library module coming up. So before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that this video is a part of a series. If you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you do because this video is linked to that one. Okay, so let's get into Lightroom. So when you first open Lightroom, you're going to see a lot of buttons, menus, bars, actions, and, and that can be confusing. But let me tell you what, we are going to break it down and it's going to be so simple. Now, as you can see, the Lightroom interface, on the top, there are modules. These are called modules, library, develop, map, book. These are called modules. The two modules that we will be working in this series is library and develop. These are the most important modules. Library is where you organize your images. Develop is where you make them look prettier. Remember now. So these are the images that we have imported. And this is the grid. And these are the thumbnails of the images. All right. So Make sure the library module is selected. That's where we organize images. That's where we select images. That's where we array, flag or unflag images. And that's where we rename images, everything, organization stuff in library module. So make sure that the library module is selected and we have the grid of images. So if you want to see an image bigger, you just double click it and it's bigger. You want to, you want to see it more, much more bigger, click it once and it zooms in straight tight. Click it once again, zooms out. Now, when you zoom in, most of the people have complained that they don't want to see so much zoom. They want to see a little zoom. So how do you do that? Click here, one is to four, a little zoom, a little more zoom, one is to two, a little lesser zoom, one is to three, and one is to one is 100% zoom. So if you want to go back, select fit, and you're back. Now. One of the most important shortcuts that you'll use time and again in Lightroom is ready for this G. So simple. When you press G, you go back to the grid and trust me, you're going to use it time and again. Remember this. It's G. It's one of the most important shortcuts in Lightroom. So look at an image, click to zoom in, click again to zoom out and you can always scroll using the arrow keys. You can, uh, shift between images and to get back to the grid press G so what did we learn make sure the library module is open the library module is where you organize your images double click to make the images look bigger also click again to make it even bigger click again to zoom out and use the thumbnail slider to make the thumbnails bigger or smaller press G to get back to the grid ready to move on all right so if not i highly recommend you pause the video watch it again get that right and remember g is the most important shortcut so the whole lightroom interface is divided into four parts at the top you have the navigation bar with all the modules library develop map book slideshow print and web at the left side you've got some important stuff on the right side some important stuff at the bottom there's the most important thing that you might be using not the most but very important thing that you might be using time and again and this is the film strip why do you need the film strip when you have the thumbnails in the grid because when you're zoomed in right and you want to cycle through images you have the film strip cycle through images and select the image that you like and edit it instead of going back to the grid selecting the image making it bigger all you can do simply is go go to the film strip select the better image or the image that you want to edit click it and you're good to go click it and it's zoomed this reminds me one of the most common problems that people bump into is the auto show and hide of panels so suppose you're working on this image and your mouse accidentally goes here and and it shows up and the film strip shows up i don't want the film strip to show up it's so annoying so suppose this panel is closed and I'm editing this image and it shows up automatically. I don't want that to happen. So what do we do? It's so simple. Just go to this kind of uh, little icon, right click and by default, it, it would be auto hide and show. So you need to click manual. So what will happen when, it, when you click manual, that this will become totally manual. When you want it, tuck it. When you want it back, click it. So it, that's so simple. So suppose you want to work on these images and you want to have these panels out of the way, tuck it in, tuck this in and we are good. Can I ask you something? 
Do you want to work hard or do you want to work smart? If you want to work smart, there's one more shortcut that I need you to know. Just a quick recap. What was the first shortcut? G. Why did we use it? To get back to the grid. Now, time for another one. Are you frustrated with those panels, film strip bars and all that garbage and you want to spend quality time with your images? I have a solution for you. All you've got to do, press shift plus tab. Voila. You and your images, just your images and spend quality time with them. All the panels go away. Zoom in, it's taking time. Zoom out, spend time with the images. But I want to edit them, how do I get the panels back? I have a solution for you. Press Shift Tab again, panels are back. Do you want to make your life more easier? Okay, so when I open the image on the right side, I have this panel, quick develop panel, keyword and all those panels. But as you can see, it's a long list and you don't want a constitution in your Lightroom. Let's keep that aside. I just want that panel that I'm working on. I don't want all the panels open. So what to do? Right click on a panel, click solo mode. What will happen is only the panel that you're working on will open and the rest of the panels will be automatically closed. For example, you're working on catalog. When you open folders, the catalog will be closed and just folders will be open. Okay, so I need to click solo mode here to make that happen. So click folders. You can see the catalog is closed. I open the catalog, folders are closed. So that was a small step that you must remember. So let's get back to the grid. How? Press G and we are back in the grid. Now, if you are an Einstein, if you have that kind of brain, don't watch this. But if you're not like me, if you have a very bad memory problem like me, do watch this. So if you look at the final name, it's DSC 0188. DSC 0189, say two months, three years, four years down the line, you might be wondering, where are the photos from that trip? Where are the photos from my shoot? Where are the photos from my travel? Where are the photos from uh, my trip to New York? I never went to New York though. So would you remember 0188, 0179? No, right? So what we need to do, we need to rename all of our images from every shoot. How to do that? Select all the images, control A, if you're using a Mac, Command A, then go to Library, Rename Photos, and uh, these are the pictures from the Mount Abu. Mount Abu, I would write. Make sure that you have selected custom name sequence. You can also select custom name original file number and custom name X of Y, but I prefer to select custom name sequence. And as you can see, ah, why the capital O? As you can see, this is an example image and my images are going to be renamed like this Mount Abu 1, Mount Abu 2 and so on. Uh, select the start number, whatever the start number you want it to be. Suppose you want to start from 10, suppose you want to start from 1, suppose you want to start from 0, 0. so whatever the start number selected and press OK. And as you can see, your images are being renamed and it's so easy to find an eye. See, Mount Abu 186, Mount Abu 185 and so on. So what will happen is in future, suppose I want these images, all I have to do, I have to go to search, type Mount Abu and boom, I'm there. Trust me, do this and your work will be so much more simple. It will be like sitting in a garden, reading a book. It'll be so nice. So guys, that's all for today. Don't take too much stress, take rest. But if you're pumped up like me, go ahead and check out the other videos. We have got some amazing content and tutorials for you to work on. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. But make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and keep creating.